Okay, so I'm uh, getting ready to mix some flour for the next batch of bread. Two loaves. I've got a thousand grams of flour in here. You can see there's a mix there. And what I have is a mix of King Arthur's bread flour, their whole wheat flour, and some jovial einkorn flour. It is one that's never been um, uh, modified from its original form. And so we will mix this together um, and uh, to blend that together. And then we also have uh, water that we're going to stick in with. The starter that has been kind of developing overnight. You can see it's nice and bubbly. It's soft on top, but that rubber band indicates where it was last night when I added water uh, and flour. I think I put about 80 grams of flour and 80 grams of water in here last night. And then I had about 80 grams of starter that's been sitting in a refrigerator that has woken up and has activated the rest of the flour. So. What I'm going to do first is uh, get a whisk and whisk the flour together to make sure that that's mixed up. Among the uh, tools that's nice to have is a, a whisk. It's certainly by no means necessary. Um, just to mix these flours together since I have three of them here. Today I'm only using a small amount of einkorn because frankly I've just run out of it. So I'm just using other wheat flour. Uh, bread flour is um, the majority is like uh, 750 mil of, uh, I'm 750 grams of that. So then now that we have that mixed up, I want to mix up the starter. And in order to uh, get as much of that out as it is, is um, I'm going to grab a small spatula. Now they say that you can take a sample of your starter and put it into water and see if it floats. And yes, that is floating. So um, I'm gonna measure that. So that's probably uh, about five to 10 grams. So let's turn the scale on here. and we'll just stick just about pretty much the rest of it. I suspect we will probably be close to 200 grams of starter when we're all said and done. More starter may allow things to uh, rise sooner. Less starter will uh, end up with uh, less. So let's see here. Yeah. Um, I'm going to leave a little bit behind in here for, maybe I'll do some more. So I don't know if you can see in here, there's not a whole lot left in there. And so I probably have about 180 grams of, of starter in here. And so I'm going to use this whisk here just to, to incorporate it. You really don't have to worry about um, completely dissolving it in there. I don't think it actually would itself. So we will just continue to mix this together see what we can do about saving any off of that spoon there now oftentimes I hold back from the um, mix of um, water that I put in initially but I thought it'd be simple if I just did it all this morning make the video a little shorter so let me go get the salt that I need to put in. And I need 20 grams of salt.
There's funny. All right. And we're gonna actually mix it in with the flour today. Okay. Um, so the, the next step is just to mix them together. A lot of times I mix the, uh, dry into the wet. But today I'm doing it this way. And so you got a pile of liquid in here. And now we're going to work it with my other specialty tool, which is a bowl scraper. And I've used just a larger spatula to try to get this thing going. But eventually it gets really, really kind of tough to work as you're trying to get the rest of it on there. So I'm just spinning the bowl here and trying to uh, incorporate it to get rid of all the dry spots. Um, this will take a few minutes here, but I just continue to do it. Um, when I use a spatula, it usually gets so tough that I have to get the uh, bench breaker out anyway. So, or I'm sorry, the bowl scraper out anyway. So I'm gonna just start with it. Um, you can see that there's a continue this uh, mixing going on here, but that water is being absorbed. You can see that it's getting uh, drier and drier as I mix it. Um, there's still plenty of in here. This bulb here, by the way, is Julie's grandma's, no, maybe Julie's, yeah, I think Julie's grandma gave this to her. Um, See how raggedy, shaggy, as they call it, this is getting. But there's still more that I can do to incorporate this into. And I'm just continuing to mix it up. I just keep finding dry spots, uh, particularly underneath. So I'll just continue to, to work it with the, the bowl scraper. You know, you get to this point here and you say, oh man, there's just not enough water in here. Believe me, there is. Um, with this mixture, I suspect we are probably about 72, 73% hydration in Baker's measurements. Um, so uh, it's just the uh, mixture of uh, wet ingredients to the flour. I guess the other ingredients, um, including the the salt. Um, so you can see down here, it's still kind of dry there. So it's a little work here to get that all incorporated, but just take your time and walk it through. Relax the shoulders, because it is some work. Let's scrape off the edges here to save, uh, so we don't lose any, uh, of that flour that will almost turn to mortar after that dries too much. So, still looking at the bottom of the bowl there and seeing some some dry stuff there. And yes, this is pretty raggy, but. But it is incorporated. And if I keep doing this, um, this will incorporate and, and start getting actually pretty, pretty moist. We can just let this set because that water will find its way through all the, all of that uh, flour. So this bowl scraper actually makes it for a fairly clean bowl. As you can see it's starting to turn into real dough but it's still very very raggedy and uh, so just keep it rolling here okay I think you've got it oh that's the uh, time or the oven it's now at 475 degrees but we are going to wait another half hour at least before we do anything else with that. 
And as a matter of fact, I am going to give this dough. As you can see it's now all incorporated. I'm not seeing the, any dough underneath that's not, or any uh, flour that hasn't been incorporated. So I think it's time to just go ahead and let this thing set. And I am just going to plug that in there because I'm going to be using that in a moment. You put all of yourself into this flower, so sometimes there's little skin scrapings. Try to get this out. Big thing that I learned from uh, one video is that uh, you can waste a lot of water. So I'm going to uh, just use a little, waste a lot of water making this bread, but just a little bit of flour to allow you to kind of rub it off your fingers rather than washing it off. And then you can just throw it right in the trash can. Use a whole lot less water and clean up your hands pretty easily. And so we'll just clean off my hands and throw that away. It only just takes it just a little bit of Alrighty then, so I will see you in about 30 minutes. Um, the, we'll shift over to um, putting the bread in. We'll probably do it in 20 minutes, but I think. Because um, I really don't know how much that really helps beyond a certain point. And um, so, see, pretty clean things. Okay, so see you in a few minutes.